Okay, guys, there's no title here, but uh, this is Horror Tales The Wine. Um, some of you guys asked me to play this. Um, the reason I put it off, guys, I've had a... Hmm, I'll just let you guys know. I had an interaction with another YouTuber uh, who was actually stealing a lot of my videos. Um, I'm a small, stream, uh, a small streamer, small YouTuber, and uh, the bigger guys can get away with murder when it comes to small guys. We need to stick together, but he was... Uh, yeah, basically, he's uh, he's one of those people that he looks at, because I'm eight hours ahead, ahead of everybody, he looks at my broadcast, um, and he sees what I played, and before I can export my videos from Twitch or anything like that, he puts them up on YouTube, so it looks like he did them first, and he even puts up the, 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 the thumbnails and stuff, you know, from me. They're stolen from me, but because his video went live on YouTube first, even though I did it eight hours earlier on Twitch... Um, people think that he's actually being original and I was getting a lot of my work stolen. So I have put this one off for a couple of days. That way I know for sure that he ain't stealing my shit. Um, I know I don't get a lot of views for it and it probably cost me some views, but I just want you guys to understand that's why I delayed this one. But anyway, if you do like the comments and all that other stuff, just comment, subscribe, like it, click the little bell. It all helps out. And, uh, yeah, let's try to have a good time. A pandemic which causes strong figure, figure, fevers, terrible delirium, and death has relentlessly, rel ah, fuck, I'm drunk. Relentlessly, rel rel anyway, fucked up people in archipelago. Rumor has it that the prestigious red wine produced in the capital can cure the sick. Fuck yeah, alcohol. You are Marti Vermeo. In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your loved ones, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the red wine is made, somewhere in the capital. If you find just one unopened bottle of red wine, it will be enough. On reaching the island, you decide to go to the winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Bani de, so de Bosque Bani de Bosque family estate is close and has a dock. A cold smell of death, calm and silent, comes over your body when you arrive at the dock. The sealed off and infected families in their own homes without food or water, but even the quarantine didn't work. There's no one left alive. Or so it seems. I am kind of wasted, guys, so I'm going to try not to screw up this dialogue too much. God, I hate my life. B, sail home. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's fucking gorgeous. It's definitely a game with a budget. We don't get to play many games with a budget. Well... I guess that's what we're looking for. Just lick the inside of the bottle. We'll be fine. What is this? <clears throat> Warning. Access to the canals partially restricted. Due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called devil's fevers, we inform that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice. Anyone who attempts to forcibly open these accesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The remaining open canals are available for use provided that lockdown curfew hours are observed. Broken model wine bottle is damn, 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 damn fucking broke my arms. Tell me. Locked from the other side. It's not locked, dude. There's like 800 fucking pounds of wine there. Uh, okay, it looks like we're going down the canals. Let me go this way. I missed something over here. Rewards for the killing of any Banny de Bosque. Bounty offered to any citizen who hunts down the members of the Badosk family. The reward will be doubled for children and triple if the dishonorable Mr. Badosk is captured alive. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed. But if a rifle is necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries which may cause pools of blood to form. 
We remind you that leaving one's residence during quarantine hours is still prohibited, and everyone must take extreme precautions to combat the devil's fevers. We all know what the Badas family did, but that does not mean that the rest of us citizens have a free pass to ignore quarantine just to hunt them down. Triple the fucking thing, you know. Ah! Nasty ass freaking rat. Warning, all access routes to Page de Ronda blocked. Use of Page de Ronda for unnecessary travel is strictly prohibited, except for local residents until the causes of the devil's fever is known. All citizens must comply with these measures in this section of Page de Ronda, except for the members of the honor roll, but both family and workers employed in the estate and local authorities. Mm hmm. Well, that's kind of locked up. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up top or go through the canals. Okay, we have another game where our protagonist is asthmatic. I should have figured as much. Locked from the other side. That's definitely not locked. What the fuck? Okay, let's do the canals. I we gotta run. Okay, I guess we're not doing the canals. Didn't want to do them anyway. Good God, how much reading do I need to do? Please don't be one of those games. The first cases of widespread fevers has extended beyond the slums region. Eh, you know what? There's a virus, guys. Y'all get it. I don't think you guys are stupid. I'm pretty sure I don't need to keep reading that crap. Guys, notifications are off, and I have little interactivity with chat. Um, sorry, just to break the immersion here, but get this out of the way. I don't talk to chat as much when I'm doing stuff for YouTube, so... Um, I will engage. I do see your stuff, but, uh, just be, bear that in mind. Door needs a key to be opened. That's a big fucking key. What? No instructions on how to crouch? Can we go back the other way? Let's just get this. Yeah, there we go. Aha! Canals, baby. Actually, that might be the direction we need to go, yeah? I don't know. Let's go check out the canals real quick, guys, because uh, I don't want to get too far that way. And then we have to come all the way back down to see about the, uh, the canals. Likely we got to come from the other side to open the gate on that side. Empty bottle of wine. Empty bottle of wine.
Warning, access to canals comp completely closed due to the notorious situation caused by the Devil's Fear. Okay, we get it. If I see something relevant... The fuck? Hey, asshole, what's the second rule of gun safety, you piece of shit? All right, well, at least we're done with the canals. Got some asshole here that shouldn't have a fucking gun in his hand. Steal that ray tracing? Look at that ray tracing. <laughs> Just a little blood. I'm sure there's no pathogens on it. On the other side, Let's see about that. Ah, oh, shit. Why is it so slow? Okay, to be honest, I don't understand how it's locked. I mean, it's, it, that's literally like a freaking plank board. I mean, a, a, like a deck board. So why can't you just reach under there and just open it? <laughs> the questions I have. Oh, my God. Okay. That. Aw. Que chulo esta mascota. A flyer for the wine. To to Huam and the other hired workers, your salaries will be reduced by one half for the next two months. The Honorable Mr. Dick has informed me of the following complaints regarding your poor building work on the structure and the access to the private cellar. Sloppy construction of wooden structures for the tunnels and, fa and facade stones for exterior opening placed in every ha haphazard manner. Floor damage and storage chamber, entrance door and staff housing falling off the hinges. Extensive scratching on the walls and areas where laborers are working. Wow. All right, what am I supposed to do now? Am I fucked? Can I climb out of this bitch? Okay, is the game over? Did I just... Oh, no, okay, I guess not. The game never gave me a tutorial on crouching, but I did it anyway because I'm that good. Grab? What was I grabbing? Ah. Hit. It's like a wine cellar. We're in luck. We're saved. Oh, a flashlight, apparently. I think that's their logo. This is not the same... Looks like there's a different hole over here. Possibly no way out. We're going to do it anyway. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I, 
I'm totally anti-physics, guys. I, ha I hate physics in games because of shit like this. Makes things a pain in the ass. Unnecessarily, I might add. That's a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, shit. Let me guess, I gotta go back down the hole that I was just in. That's what it looks like. But there was no other. That doesn't lead anywhere, though. that well, of course I can't climb out I can't stack shit this high there's a door right there but I don't think I can get to it the fuck was that oh great my only way out of here just got busted. Fucking hell. Hate the physics in video games. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Right. Use a brick to smash the shit, maybe? Can't pick up any bricks. Ah, maybe I could smash these. not making things easy now is it what the hell is that you see that look at that shit some fucking shit happened I don't know what it is weird whatever it is I'm easter egg hunting it out until I can figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go Locks on the other side. I need to find a way to get up here. This is probably this door is probably what I was looking at inside of this room over here. It would be right across over here. Yeah. No? Not the right height. The door would be over there. That means that door is probably bullshit. Well, I got no choice. This is where we're going, so maybe there's a mechanic I don't know about. I don't have to climb out of this fucking place, do I? Well, this would be freaking annoying if I did. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, that was... Okay, well, I guess I was wrong there, too. Uh, okay, um... 
A hole in the wall, maybe? Maybe I can move something aside? Yep, there's a hole in the wall. All right. And that led me to Dick. Dick! That's what that led me to. Oh, here we go. All right. Important announcement from Freeman James Constato to all workers. As if the, it was not difficult enough to work on the Banya's family, uh, now they become paranoid because of everything with the fever, and they've ordered us to install these metallic doors. They're simple to operate. To use these doors, push hard on the lever on the wall. The lever is stiff, so you'll need to use some force. The door will shut automatically in a few hours. Pork resistance doors. Got one of those on the barn. Just open the door. It'll close by itself. Just pork. I mean, there's a there's a, there's a lot of torsion. There's a lot of torsion on that thing, so it eventually closes. Checking. All right, let's go. This guy needs to have eat more calcium. Wrong code? How could there be a code? It's literally a lever. That would be like placing a rock on top of something. Oh, it wants this. crack. I mean, this is actually a pretty easy crack. We know the middle one's right. gonna play hard to get. <sighs> well, 
The only other way would be... I mean, I... I didn't think I would need to, but we'll do it this way. in a brute force so um the only way that wouldn't have worked is if 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 i cannot if i haven't found a note or something to actually activate this part of the puzzle because that that should have worked i just stripped everything so yeah okay what the fuck is that All right, well. Okay, pitcher and flask. All right, we'll see if we can brute force it with two. Whoa, that's not right. That's not right at all. There is no pitcher. You can't turn the top one. And there's no flask on top. So that means that picture's bullshit. There is no picture. There's a flask right there, but I'd have to have a picture on top. So that means that note is suck? Uh, that note is suck. Huh. I have no way of getting back up. Yeah, we ain't climbing that. Ah, of course. This makes more sense. Yeah, last wine bottle, leaf, corkscrew. That makes more sense. Well, it should have triggered. That should have triggered because I already flipped that combination. What the fuck? Where is the... Yeah. Okay. It was a trigger event. Oh, here we go. See, now we got four extra things. There we go. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have happened unless I had a... Uh, So I had to proceed in the game. I couldn't brute force it. All right. Good to know. So no brute force and no shortcut. Good ideas, too.
Great graphic. Fucking shit, my life! <laughs> Fucking hell, where the hell did I go? Did I wind up in Sleepy Hollow? I'm tired. He got me. I can't stand hidden stamina. You guys know I hate hidden stamina. Oh, yeah. Because you don't know how much you have. So you're running, right? And you, you don't know how tired you are. I get it. If you could run forever, you would just outrun them. But honestly... Slowing down and getting caught because you're tired is not like I don't really think it's a good mechanic It's a video game. I don't need to get tired, you know, just make them faster and make it You know skillful to try to avoid them instead of just uh, outrunning them And then you get tired and they catch you because once you're tired. There's nothing you can do so It would be better to just have unlimited sprint and make them faster so if you fuck up and you make a wrong turn or something like that, hey, that's acceptable. You know, I made a wrong turn. I went to a dead end. He killed me. You know, but just dying because you got tired, that's just shitty. I don't like it. But hopefully, not every game does it. Top of this thing. Oh, okay, never mind. Very dark game, yes. Really, I need to do this twice. Fuck. Okay. Mario out there is somewhere. Mario is jealous. Appreciate it, guys. I'm tired, so I'm going to miss my jump. Told you. Fucking stamina, man. Damn it. I got tired, so I missed my jump. Stamina is just such a bad thing to put in a game like this. Uh, that's my only complaint. I mean, it's high quality, but the fucking stamina is just silly. That'd be like saying, ooh, there's a ghost chasing you. Run. Oh, you're tired. I don't have to run. I can actually walk faster than that thing. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, 
What a pain in the ass. And it's so fucking dark, man. Like, there's no gamma. Fuck, man. Dark is not... Like, dark is over. In terms of something being scary, dark is over. It, it's it Dark is just not scary anymore. There's no need to have dark-ass games. Turn the fucking lights on. Let's see what the hell we're facing. If it's really scary, I don't need it to be fucking dark. Ever see the movie Anaconda? Yeah, it ain't dark. Broad-ass daylight. Fucking kind of scary. Why? Big fucking snake. That's scary. Okay, guys, we are in a maze. All right, you know how this goes. If they're left brain dominant, all we need to do is hug the left-hand side of the wall and we'll find our way out. If whoever made this maze is right brain dominant, we're fucked. So let's go on the edge. I don't know. I mean, this game is very beautiful, which means they're probably very artistic, so they're probably right brain dominant. But uh, let's hope whoever made the, the this maze is an idiot. So we're just going to go left brain dominant and hug the left wall and see if we can find our way out. Yep. He's right brain dominant, so we're liable to be stuck in here a while. Try left. See what the hell happens. It's all lefts, guys. Like, basically, I'm just going to keep making lefts. There you go. Okay, it turned out he was definitely left brain dominant. Provided this gets me where I need to go. We'll find out. If I actually get out by hugging, just staying left. I said, dude, it's nothing but left. Just stay left as much as you can. I should go left here. There is a door, though. It's locked. Yep. Okay. That's actually good. So that means the person that made the map, not the person that was doing the art, um, he was actually left brain dominant, so, yeah. If you're artistic, guys, and, and the only reason I say that, if you have an artistic person, say like an artist or someone like that, someone who's more right brain dominant, um, they're going to be more intricate. They can think of more intricate details and shit like that. It's just, in, it's just the way the brain works, and so they make like mazes and puzzles and shit like that that are very difficult. If it's someone who is more left brain dominant, um, they're not as good at putting together like intricate little mazes and, and puzzles and stuff like that. That's why I always say hug left. Hopefully you'll get out because there's not a lot of people that are really, really strong on the right brain. So the majority of people out there are left brain dominant. So. The entire development team of Visage was all fucking left brain dominant. Because there was absolutely nothing in that game that was hard. Mother and father are two gigantic statues you, statues you can see from almost every capital where we live. Mother is at the top of the highest peak on the other side of the bay. And father stands at the place where almost everybody works. 
uh, the winery. My father worked for them, too, as a servant. No one knows who built these statues, but they let the whatever build their winery below father because they were so nice to everyone. When everyone said, when someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit mother. Mother is good, helps people who come to her to feel better. Father is good too. He helps uh, all of us make the best wine in the world. This is about the virus. I'm not going to read it. Noticed anyone found helping members of the family. Yeah, we already get it. They want to kill the family. Important notice. We are sad to hear the news that little Lisa has passed away and the government sends her sincerest condolences. However, the fact of her death from the devil's fever was kept secret for us for weeks. What is a despicable act? I'm going to try to stay away. Look, I mean, look at all these notes, guys. I, I'd spend the entire fucking game reading notes. Let's just... Uh, attention, family members. Due to uncontrolled infections related to Devil's Fear appearing among employees as the governor, I'm forced to continue the entire family... Uh, to confine your entire family. Okay, that's quarantine. Um, for the attention, most honorable... Okay, uh, it has come to our attention that several of your employees have been infected. Okay... Um, to the Bandico family, as you well know, there's a strange fever. Yep, we're not going to read that. We, we get it, guys. There's an infection. There's an infection. Okay. That is a pitcher over a wine glass. Yeah, I used to, when I started this channel, I would read every little thing, and, um, we're not doing that anymore wind up spending half the video reading. I don't have it in me anymore. feel like this is exactly where we started. It is. We are literally back at the start. But that is closed off now. What the fuck? We're back where we started. How does that even work? Gotta go this way then. Okay, the freaking maze is locked. You want me to start climbing? To where? I don't know. Game's confusing the shit out of me. For no other reason other than it can. Huh. 
Nothing over here. No doors or anything I can walk through. Back lock. This came from upstairs. There's a note, mother. Yeah. Oh, did I do this? I guess I did not. Why someone wouldn't install that? I have no idea. Picture. No, this is that was right. Picture into the flask. Yeah, picture into the flask. Um, that is. Picture in the flash, that's right. That's right. I don't know about these last two. about the last two. I gotta go looking. God damn it. Huh. Epilepsy warning. down here note perhaps All right I already got that one into a wine bottle. I got that one. Or a vase into a wine bottle. Blast into grapes. I don't have that one. Close the door. Won't let me around him. <laughs> Fucking, I was exhausted half that freaking, that run. Like, you, you, there's, you, you can sprint for like 12 feet. That's so stupid. Just so dumb, man. Sprinting is the worst fucking mechanic. Huh. 
wine glass into grapes. That into a bottle. That into there. Pitcher into there. This one I'm not sure about, but we can just flip it. Ground under your feet cracks and you fall on debris and are knocked unconscious. Slowly you begin to wake up. It is night now. You remember someone dressed in black came near you and locked you in a room. You're unsure if it was real or dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light and you wake up with a terrible headache. Little by little the vision gets blurry. Or less blurry. I don't know why they keep having me open shit. Key out there. There's some sort of code. Can't interact with anything. I'm not sure if this is a mechanic I don't know about. Can't grab the key. I don't see anything else to interact with. Usually whatever you can interact with is blowing like a mofo. I don't see anything. I mean, I see another code down there. Fucking Omega. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, we get it. It opens from the other side, but there's literally nothing in here that I can interact with. Game's not really very clear about any of this shit. I can't even pick up anything. There's no physics involved. Can't throw something at the key. I mean, I could grab it with a freaking handle or something if I could reach out there, but... There's nothing to interact with. 
I would say break the floor, go down, but there's doesn't seem to be a mechanic for that. I uh, can't interact with this rope. Fuck, dude. This is actually quite annoying. I'm just looking for something I can interact with. I can't interact with anything. Fuck is stupid. Now I'm just clicking everywhere trying to get something to do something. I, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I might have fucking lost. Nothing to interact with. I, I don't know what to do. Can't pick up a bird cage. I can't pick up a, uh, a a handle. I can't push the door. I can't freaking crash the floor. I can't do anything. Like there's just nothing here. The hell am I supposed to do? Fucking idiotic. Jesus Christ. So fucking stupid. Well, this got boring. All right, we're going to pause the video for a minute to address someone. Uh, Apples, if you don't like it, fuck off. Take your follow, stick it up your ass, and walk the fuck out of my stream. Good enough? There's a hint on Twitch etiquette, okay? All right? If, if you don't enjoy something, there are 9 million other streamers you can fucking watch, okay? So pedal your ass out of here. Go suck your mother's titties or something. Get some fucking breast milk. Have some on your cereal. Relax. And go find someone else to fucking watch. I don't need you here. Now the secret to a good band is to let him try to type something. 
But since he's on a three-second delay, by the time he hits enter, none of you all are going to see it anyway. So let's just get rid of him. All right, we're back. Jesus. Okay. In a tremendously irresponsible outburst after 28 days of quarantine, an indecent mob from the slums attempted to flee by crossing the bridges. They organized during the night, and in the early hours of the morning, an armed mob headed towards the bridges attempted to cross them. Uh, the mob, mainly composed of vagrants and immigrants, showed their colors right as they arrived at the bridges when they tried to shoot the guards on the other side. Luckily, none of the guards were killed. Fearing that this would happen sooner or later, the authorities were already prepared and opened fire uh, from their parapets on the other side of the bridges. The dead numbered in the hundreds, although none of the guards were killed. Once they saw it was impossible to escape over the bridges, many of the rebels jumped from the windows into the river. None survived the drop-off at the waterfall. The authorities fear that because of this mob, even more residents from the slums have been infected by the devil's fevers. Um, deaths in the incoming weeks are expected to number in the thousands. First executions carried out of those fleeing the slums. We must stay united and stop situations like this that occurred several weeks ago from continuing. The economy will revive when the devil's fevers, as we now call them, are over. This newspaper is appealing to the personal responsibility of each and every one of us. That means going hungry and confinement, so be it. For the good of all, the alternative is death. They shot her. Yeah, okay, it's probably something about someone got killed because she was trying to escape. Looking, I haven't been seeing any of those pieces of paper out there.
shit. Boy, this game is good about putting you in situations where you don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do. Gotta be another hit, hidden exit. This one's blocked. Through here? Yeah. How's that? You ever wonder in video games who lit these fucking candles? Or why certain doors do like even exist in the video game? They said the company installed those fancy doors, right? <laughs> but, like, why would they put one underneath the freaking floor? This is a fucking mess. Fuck, man, where the hell am I? Someone dead right here. With a baby. don't change.
Oh, this is different this time. Okay. I mean, just this one is causing a problem. Fucking hell. Okay. Well. Gotta drag him all the way out here. Don't ask me what the fuck his problem is. Maybe it's because he's missing his head. I don't know. The headless horseman was kind of pissed off about that, too. At least the game, the game didn't kill me for trying that. And I have not been paying attention to the symbols on the wall. Boy, this is going to be fun. Those symbols were everywhere. Holy shit. Well. All right. Circle is hookworm. is bad. It ain't easy to pick out these symbols. This ain't easy. Like I got this one here. There's nothing with it. So, um, this one was pretty easy. But like this. They look like they're a slightly different color. Okay, maybe, all right, all right, right angle and that funny thing. Let's see if I can figure this one out. 
That one doesn't exist. Okay, so we're going to have to actually go through and look for these actual in individual symbols. So I need the uh, I need the wind up toy, triangle, and omega. Wind up toy, triangle, and omega. There we go. That's a triangle. Um, I don't know. Was that symbol up there? It might have been. Let me see. Looks like a birth egg or some shit. Fuck, where we go? So that one's already right. Yeah, so wind up toy triangle and omega. There's omega. Another hookworm. Vertical. Okay, so wind up toy and triangle. Around here somewhere. Damn it! Man, I'm just not seeing it. We might have to pop those two individually. By our luck, the other ones are right. I just can't see these. All I need is one more. I can pop the other one. Not right down here, is it? Wind up toy and triangle. Let's just pop it with what we got. Yep. Like that. Fine. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're going to have to get creative here. So we flip that one once. And that one once. Luckily, these are very short combos. This one. to flip through. Hmm, un gatito. Well, we dropped off here. Can we jump over? Do we need a box or something, maybe? Didn't see anything to grab. No planks or anything. Has to be something because there's no way out of here. Second, guys, sorry. Oof. One second, guys, restroom break.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, let's try to figure out where the hell we're supposed to go. I can I jump it. Oh, we can. Seems really hard without a. This game is really hard without a uh, flashlight. Well, this doesn't look good. Okay, that accomplished nothing. Why am I here? No idea why I'm here. What do you think? It's, think it's gonna be some fuckery when I open the door? It's gonna be like some different dimension or something? Yep. How'd I call it? Saw the handle. I need to know where to get it before I, or where where to take it. Because I move so slow while I'm holding those. It goes right there. God damn it. Gonna drag him off in the middle of bunk buck. Why did you have to take 20 minutes to look at it? Can 
now he's cheating. Waste of time. Well, fine. Well, we're here. <laughs> the door was open. Uh, way to go for overthinking things. Hmm? Yeah, look at assholes down here with fucking guns and shit. Feeling that's a bad idea. Huh. Huh. Fuck. Sorry, I didn't want to do that anyway. It was a stupid fucking idea. I hung on. put something at the end of this thing to keep it from falling. What the hell am I going to put on it? The box I was going to use broke. I'm going to 
if I've got any other way out of here. Ow. I hear squigglies. Damn it. Oh, you think? Put this box in here. That's it. I don't know what this thing has to do with anything. I want to move it. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! Hi. Hey. Oh. Okay. Ow. Dump that. Back on the ground. Gun fucking safe, a gun cabinet. Open for a limited time. Fines for property owners that do not maintain their structures. To all residents who wish to use underground shortcut in the main square, the passageway suffers from intermittent power outages, the reason for which is still unknown. Those who don't know the passageway well should avoid using it without power as a corridor turns to total blackness. Uh, on another note, the resident living in the upper penthouse is suffering from strange fevers. This does not seem to have any connection with the winery fevers, but for your safety, please leave your homes as little as possible. Now that's a flashlight. If you're gonna put a flashlight in the game, this is how you put a flashlight in the game.
Looks like that's a dead end anyway. Chris. Hello, Chris. Cool down before I step out there. For the attention, for the attention of the young single man who lives in this flat, the community organization has received complaints of noises and shrieking at all hours of the night during the day. This situation cannot continue. Your neighbors have worked long hours in, in the vineyards and therefore need their rest. If the shouting and noises continue by tomorrow, we'll be forced to notify the authorities. Hey, you know, he's working out, man. He's getting red. He's getting buff. If you are reading this message, then you are the resident of the upper flats. Due to the terrible situation the city now suffers from the commonly called devil's fevers, we've had no choice but to seal off the upper flat and force residents to stay in their homes. Perhaps if the young man in room B hadn't spent his time with certain people, you wouldn't be confined with no way of going outside. All the other neighbors wish the sick and speedy recovery. Please understand that we are all fearful, so if you need food or water, we won't be able to help you. Those of us who are still healthy wish you all the best, and please remember that we should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Right. You get for partying too much, dude. D E D. thing hmm interesting man this light overheats pretty damn quick
Fuck me. the levers. Fuck. I don't know if he can hit us while we're like this. Yes, he can. Oh, the symbols are all over the walls. Shit. That one. Now it's facing upward. Guess that's as good as it gets. Charge the batteries. Are they on the floor? Recharge. Check the other room. Uh, see upright sconce. to guess on that last one. pain in the ass. It's broken or something. Uh, we're dead. Oh, mechanism is broken. I couldn't see it because of all the sparks and shit like that. So I have no idea where we're at. Oh, actually, I fell off the water and died, so maybe it put us in a good location. Of course, maybe not. I don't have the flashlight. I don't know where the last save was. Uh, 
don't have the flashlight anymore. Fuck, I don't know. Did it put us back? Like, did it really fuck us or? Boy, I hope it didn't really fuck us. Oh. Well, perhaps I shouldn't open this door. Got some asshole sitting over there with a fucking Winchester. That's for access to canals completely closed. Wonder if I was supposed to lose that flashlight. Had to be. The mechanism was broken. mechanism was completely broken. There was no, no way around him. I couldn't jump past him. Seems like I would have had to have been dropped, jumped in the water. Access completely closed. Yeah, there's no way to save the game, so... It would have been an auto-save. Where does this key go? all the way around. Yeah, it's nighttime, so... Oh, you don't... Never mind. The thing told me when I got the camera... I mean, when I got the flashlight, that at night it was completely dark in there, so... I guess we just needed the flashlight for that one area. exploited my way over something I shouldn't have. Huh? Huh. Huh. 
<laughs> I uh, I might not be supposed to be here. I fucked up. Damn it! Am I really fucked up? Without the torch, I can't see where the fuck I am. Get back around, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be over there. Flashlight would have been fucking nice, I'll tell you. Rewards for killing the yeah, hour. Take us back to. What happened to my boat? Okay, well, there goes my boat. Bye, have a little time. Oh, this is a dream. I've been knocked unconscious or something. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Yep. A dream within a dream. This is how we got out. <laughs> El Losto El Flashlighto. which would have been very handy. Well, I've already been here. Hmm. I hate getting lost. Probably wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so damn dark. like that's someplace I should go, but probably incorrect. Up. Hey, we can see through the map. Probably not where I'm supposed to go, but you know, we'll try it anyway. Yeah, I needed a key, but unfortunately I can't get back there. Unless mm, if I hop back across, I might be able to do Do I still have the key? I have no way of checking my inventory, so I don't know. I'm 
might be able to jump back across. Maybe. Hmm. Yep. Okay, he's gone. All right. Thank you. And then, fucking shit. Ah, hell. I'm telling you, Sleepy Hollow was really missing this guy. What an asshole. I'm stuck. Oh, no. The fucking game build a, built a wall behind me. It fucking built a wall behind me. Now, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. I turned around and there's a wall built there. That sucked. And you can't get around him, so... Yeah, see, it built the wall. Get your fat ass down here. Oof. That was weird. Got some weird lag there. Perfect jump scenarios. Ah, that was me. Ah, there's no way around this. Oh, there is. Okay. Ah, shit. Very cumbersome. You know me, dudes. I don't like platformers, so... Another one of these fucking things? I haven't seen any notes. Uh, I guess we gotta go across. Keep an eye. What are we looking for? Squiggly doorway clock winder thingy. Okay, doorway is a circle. Triangle is... That's not one of them. See another symbol in there somewhere. There it is. There's a squiggly, I think. Yeah. It's a doorway. Squiggly is a doorway. Doorway is a circle. Incorrect. Let's do that. 
It's always a circle. It's the only thing that even looks remotely close. the old-fashioned way. Identifying those marks is a little bit harder than it looks. Last one. Could have popped. All right, something's wrong. Um, can't be. The doorway's a circle. I mean, unless this one's wrong, what that shouldn't be. Doorway's a circle. This is not on there. That's a squiggly, and it says doorway. Oh, uh, you know what? Unless doorway is actually a squiggly. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, let me see if maybe door squiggly is actually doorway. Here. No, it's not there. Mm -mm. Could be Omega. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. It could have been Omega. All right, there's only three combinations here, so. through here all right that doesn't work so we're gonna have to go through this door <laughs> fuck me he's on but what the where is it <laughs> fuck you asshole He opened the door. He opened the door. Okay. That's one of those random mechanics. There's not a lot you can do about it. First hand, blame the devil. Okay, it's more about the devil, Steve. I don't really care. Too many notes. They need to get away from that mechanic in, uh, in, in these horror games. They need to stop just leaving notes everywhere for people to read. It's annoying. Overdone. Way overdone. People get tired, you know? I guess if you're the casual horror experience, you know, it's okay. When you've played as many fucking games as I have, like, that shit starts getting real old. There's a 
hole there. Probably DMCA. They're coming. The cannibals are at our wall. I can hear them tearing down little by little on the other side. My daughters were braver than me and tried their luck jumping into the river. I hope they survived the waterfall and don't have to do any more of the psychotic, uh, deal with any more of these psychotic attacks. I'm a coward. I don't have the guts to do it. I just want to die in peace. If I have to die, at least I'll do it with my favorite song playing. The cannibals just like eat you and you don't move or nothing. You just sit where you were where they eat you. Okay. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Good knowledge. Good knowledge for future reference. If your ass is going to be eaten by cannibals, you can just, you know, sit there. Or get hung on a wall. That, that happens too. I have got to get me some of these everlasting can candles that like burn for months and shit. Never, they never burn out. Hell, I'll turn all the lights off in my house and shit and just use candle power. Almost a pointless mechanic opening drawers and shit. Another cat. Damn it, they changed something. We're in the Matrix. To all who want to listen, take down the wine-stained sheets and blankets from our balconies and windows now. Yes, I do support what they represent. I'm not saying this is an ideological reasons. I've noticed something. All of my neighbors who have gone crazy in confinement had wine-soaked sheets hanging. When my husband started acting paranoid and psychotic, I let the blanket fall in the river by accident. Two hours later, he was back to normal. We both still have the fever, but we don't have hallucinations anymore. Take down the sheets and blanket. All this spilled wine is making me have hallucinations. You gotta get me some of this fucking wine. It's gotta be better than this mad dog I've been drinking. Crazier these stairs just going on and on and on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh. Okay, well, you fall out and you land in a whole ocean of cocaine. Cocaine. The other white meat. Oh, this fucking guy. the handle I'm missing something I need a handle fuck me how am I supposed to know the code
Squiggly was Omega, wasn't it? I think that's right. Uh, squiggly is the sea strike. Squiggly is the sea strike. No. The circle is a sea strike as well. So two sea strikes. Circle and squiggly are both sea strikes. Things are moving inside my house. Mandatory confinement. That's what I was supposed to do, but it worked. executed mandatory confinement penalty of death missing a handle Jump crouch mechanics. Fucking so shitty. Jumping in the air and then having to crouch. I hate that. Half-Life 2, actually, sorry. Half-Life 1 actually invented that crap. Trying to make yourself smaller so you can fit through the damn window. what the purpose is of that mechanic of picking up stuff that just breaks in your hands 
They're completely unnecessary. If I can pick it up, I should be able to use it. Nothing to grab over here. If I throw the switch, that'll send it back. Can definitely go in there because there's ramps out. Stairwell here. Can't do anything with it. need something that I can pick up that won't break. Box right here. Nope. I know that. Nope. Is this one going to break or no? Oh, no, I can't pick it up. Fuck me. Really, game? Stupid. And it broke that time. Fuck me. Dumb fucking mechanics, dudes. I can't do anything about it. Obviously, they want me to climb it. They keep giving me stuff to do it with. There's the switch up there, so I've got to go upstairs. Fuck, man! Come on! God damn it, I hate fucking physics in games. Physics are just random shit, man. I get it. I got to climb through the fucking window. Stop breaking all my shit. Fucking, fucking hell, man. This is annoying. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't know where this goes. Why are we down here? Why, why did it take me all the way fucking back down here? This is where the train was. Got the damn sewer pipe. God damn it. Turn that shit off. of a DMCA. Went the entire freaking way. Let me out of here. 
fuck? All right, so we, we're not jumping off there. That that did dig. Which is up there. Means I'd have to grab it from the top of this thing. And I don't think I can get to the top of this. Needle idea of it, no. Shit, I didn't throw the switches. God damn it. Oh well. enough I'm gonna literally have to jump and hope for the best nope <laughs> fucking platformers a hole in this wall here. This is it. I mean, this is the only way that I've got to work with. Can't get into the fucking room. Stupid ass fucking jumping mechanics, man. Fucking 
worst. I gotta go out there, get on the damn fire escape, and go up and get that damn switch, and I can't get up there. The fuck is stupid. No way to climb up there. Of course. Sure, let's fall in the fucking water. Why not? No idea where the fuck this goes. Clearly off and out of the fucking beaten path. I have no idea why I'm going over here. This is stupid. Shit. This is one of those games where I have to say pick a fucking lane. Are you a puzzle game or are you a scary game? Because like you had all the makings of a scary game and you turned it into this fucking maze crawler shit. Okay, somebody shot me. Ow. He's still shooting at me. Oh, no. What's up? Yes, you know, I was coming over here to fuck you in the freaking ear hole. Shooting him with a piss and 22 is what, what happened there. Maybe if you had a real gun, that wouldn't happen. Really? This is the shit I've got to do? Only thing I'm missing is a big fucking monkey rolling flaming barrels at me. Please tell me I haven't already been here. That was so fucking self-explanatory. What did I waste? Fucking an hour looking for a way to get that damn switch? Pick a lane game, man. Fucking pick a lane, please. Bitch ass hiding in the dark. This guy's one of those Call of Duty fucking campers that just sits in the corner.
Oh, it's nice of him giving me a cigarette. And the key to the fucking room. That's always nice. Look, at first I came to the capital to save crazy people like you, but now I've taken a liking to hunting and killing your kind. But I thought twice about it. I've decided not to kill you, yet I'm having a good time with you. You're welcome for healing your wounds. I have the last unopened bottle of red wine. Do you want it? I'll wait for you in the wine cellars. You're still delirious, but if you manage to snap out of it and find me, I'll give it to you. I left you a key that opens the door, the desk, and the pillar. I'm waiting for you here. Okay, thank God. those purple things are. I'll find out if I can find something to grab and I'll jump over the wall to find out. The winery is cursed. Alright. Memo for the funeral company regarding all the work. in the dark down there like a little bitch. about this. Okay. <sighs> you gotta love the bitches. Hmm. 
Invisible wall, it won't let me over. about this one. There's no way I've got to go all this way. something I didn't see the lovers in here oh I'm sure he has no idea what I'm doing I just jumped in the hole Dick move, Ramsey. Dick. Oh, now you're going to pixel peek. All right. Fucking hacker.
I got a spare helmet. He doesn't miss, just so you know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get to him without him missing. This means I'm probably gonna have to carry a wine bottle to get to him. I mean, a, a wine cask. See what I mean? He does not miss. I get over there to him. <laughs> Got me at midair. Stuck. I can't move. He had to be picked in the corner. Fucking dick. By the way, there's no other way out of here. Or whatever this door leads to, that's where I gotta go. Suck. You can't get past him. You you cannot get past him. This game is not good. Like there's pretty much nothing scary about it, and it's just kind of really annoying fucking mechanics. And the story, honestly, I couldn't wipe my ass with this story. That's such bullshit. I'm stuck against the wall. Fucking shit, man. He just pushes you against the wall and there's nothing you can do. It's bad. I mean, it's annoyingly bad. I'm stuck. He just he, he pushes you into the wall. You can't move. And I'm I'm down there in a fucking maze. I'm I'm in a in a fucking maze trying to move around with no damn light. And I got to avoid this guy because if he even touches you, you're fucking dead.
God damn it! Get off of me, you cocksucker! Fuck! mechanic man I can't move I'm stuck I don't know what the fuck's going on I'm getting stuck on everything it's like the devs just gave up. They didn't even start, they're, they're not even trying anymore. I can't stand these mechanics. Y'all know that when a ghost just will not fuck off, it is the worst. And now we don't know. I got a combination I've got to put in. Well, this asshole's chasing me. Butterfly is a spike. Mechanism's broken. It's fun when this thing just won't leave you alone. There's a key. I don't know to what for. Probably never know. Object key taken. Okay, sure. Oh, so those switches were absolutely pointless. Okay, the circle is a, a thing. Hey, look, I got a fucking lantern. It's amazing. shape am I looking for? Omega. I 
And there's a switch up there. There's another switch right there. The wind up toy. Wind up toy is that thing. to flip it four times. Flip it! Oh my god. Janky ass fucking shit, man. Well, apparently that was wrong. bottom one is flipped correctly. There's no switch next to it, was there? No, there's no switch. Didn't know about this. Such a great time. The other switches, triangle. Is 
triangle. It's another thing. Having such a great time. That's right. That is fucking right. Omega is that. That is that. That's fucking right. Omega, that's right. Triangle, that's right. Motherfucker, what is going on? That is fucking right. This is really pissing me off. Omega, it's the T. Triangle, it's that thing. The clock. Omega, that's right. Triangle, that's right. Omega, fucking T. It's right. There it is. Omega T. Triangle T. I know those are right. This one is on the wall right over here. Butterfly. Straight up. Butterfly. Straight up. There's nothing else it could be. Fucking right. The 
this is stupid. They're, I have them right. I had them fucking right. Motherfucker. Fucking son of a bitch wouldn't change. It's just not flipping. Fucking door, stupid, mute. That's, it's a moot point. You're just supposed to jump. Damn door doesn't open, dudes. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I, I have it right. the problem. Found the fucking problem. I hate this shit. And I'm sure that damn sound is driving y'all up the fucking wall. Such an annoying ass mechanic. Of course. Hey, we remember this area. annoying don't tell me I have to figure out how to get back to where I was oh great look it's raining fucking fruit punch as if things couldn't get any worse that shit's sticky Guy's gonna smoke me. Why is it raining inside? Like I'm already pissed off at the game, so I can start questioning shit.
Ja. What a dick. Keep your shitty fucking game. I'm done. Put me out of my misery, please. There's more. We're done. Let's just move on. Miss Watermelon. Hello, Dad. It's already been eight years since you passed away. I'm still not past it. Visiting your graves tradition now. This year, I met Albert Roy. He told me about how he found you dead with your head full of glass from the bottle you smashed yourself with. It's rough, but in a way, knowing how you died brings me peace. I just hope I stop having the nightmares. Albert has become a celebrity. They almost worship him. I feel proud and overwhelmed just to know him. In fact, he left his hat beside the monument to the victims months ago, and nobody has taken it. Sometimes I think about the irony of it all. To be unaffected by the fevers, all we had to do was cover our face like Albert did. Would you believe? Would you be alive today if we had known that one stupid thing before? Anyway, I like having him around. No, Dad, don't worry. You'd like him. When you look past the hero image they paint him with, He's very approachable and considerate. Even so, want to know a little secret? Every day he's always whistling, and I and that gets a bit annoying. There had to be one bad thing about him, but don't tell it. It's our secret. Your daughter, who still misses you, yet another year. Oh, so the psycho with the fucking shotgun killed everybody, and then... Took a bottle of wine and cured everybody and told told him to put on a mask. So he's basically a COVID murderer. And yeah, that happened. So what do we do? Just jump off here? No? Alright. And then and then he said he found my body and he played hero. What a dick. Okay, so if the fucking headless guy was a hallucination, I don't understand why it was fucking able to kill us. And, like, this is the weakest story, like, I have ever seen. The guy goes to an island to get a bottle of wine. Wine, mind you, that's supposed to cure everybody. Like, if, if people knew this, if this was common knowledge that wine could do this, then thousands of people would have done it. So that would mean this guy has killed everybody that went to do it, which is less absurd. This is just, it's just a really bad story. The mechanics were kind of shitty. And 
I honestly didn't really get scared. I mean, I kind of got a little startled when the headless thing first showed up. But I thought this was supposed to be a scary game, and it turned out just to be fucking lame. Damn, it was a platformer. It was a freaking platformer with mazes and puzzles. There was not really anything scary about it. It was kind of shit. 